Welcome to a tutorial of Hyphen Reader, version 1.2.3 on iOS. This video was created with support from the Government of Canada's Social Development Partnerships Program Disability Component. The opinions and interpretations in this video are those of the creator and do not necessarily reflect those of the Government of Canada. It was produced with cited assistance. Hyphen offers a simple interface with a wealth of options for visual adjustment. It supports books in EPUB format. They can be copied to Hyphen right from the NELS repository or even imported from Dropbox. It works fairly well with VoiceOver, though some controls are excluded from the swipe order. It also lacks a read to end feature, so VoiceOver's reading function must be activated at the beginning of each new chapter. Here, we're looking at the record for Treasure Island on the NELS website. When we press Download EPUB, we're asked where to store the book. You may need to press more first, but we're going to select Open in Hyphen. The book imports after a few seconds and shows up in your list of available titles. To find new books, you can press the Add Books button found at the bottom of the screen near the right. This pulls up a list of supported online services, but because NELS is not one of them, you'll usually want to find new reading material in Safari on the NELS website. Then, to start reading, just tap the book's title. Treasure Island is now open in hyphen, showing up in the reading pane. To ask VoiceOver to begin reading, just swipe down with two fingers. One glass of rum won't kill you, but if you take one you'll take another and another, and I stake my wig if you don't break off short. You'll die. To access reading features, just double tap the reading pane. This reveals five buttons across the top of the screen. They are unfortunately unlabeled, but we'll now go through each one from left to right. To find text in your book, press search, found at the far left of the button bar. Type in the phrase you wish to find, then press search on the right side of the keyboard. Hyphen will then show you a list of sentences that contain your query. Move through the list by swiping left or right, and tap a sentence to be taken to that page in your book. To move to a different chapter, just press Table of Contents. Swipe through the list until you find the desired section, and tap it to go there in your book. The next button, Settings, has a wealth of options for visual reading preferences. You can also use it to change how you interact with the book. To go to a particular page in your book, press More. Select Go to ADE Page, type in the page number you want to read, and press Go. The final button is called Close. You can press it to return to your list of books. Swipe through the list to find the book you wish to read, then tap the title to open it. Hyphen has a clean and usable interface. Once you get the hang of it, it works well with voiceover.